Hey everyone and welcome to it. Ah, it's puppy day. I'm so excited. I am getting another puppy. I am so excited. I've already said it a thousand times, but if you guys don't know, I already have a French bulldog. Her name is Luna and I just love her so much. And Keegan and I, who is my husband, if you guys don't know, um, have been really wanting to get her a sibling to play with and so she's not lonely all the time. Um, and yeah, obviously we'll have someone else to entertain her instead of us having to entertain her all the time. I just think it'll be so fun for her to have a friend all the time at our house. So we decided to get a, another French Bulldog. So um, we just love Frenchies. So sweet, so perfect for an apartment. So sorry, I'm at the gas station pumping my gas. Um, so we thought it'd be perfect just to get another one um, because I just love them so much and Keegan loves Luna so much, so we thought it would just be great. So I did want to touch on the fact that uh, we really do want to adopt in the future. It's just that right now, Luna, uh, I don't know if I've ever shared this before, but she does not really get along with other types of dogs or like any dog that's older than her, so there aren't really any like puppies that are um, at the shelters right now. I looked all around, but there just aren't any and at least near me so unfortunately we just um, didn't adopt at this time but we definitely will after Luna's lifetime she just doesn't get along with older dogs or dogs that are bigger than her so yeah <laughs> um, but I promise we will be doing that in the future after her lifetime um, just until then we thought another Frenchie would be a great addition to our little family I'm so excited so we're going to go pick him up tonight um, so I quickly had to go back to my hometown I'm here right now pumping gas and I had to go to the bank and pull out money to pay in cash. I'm on my way back home though so I need to go drive an hour back to where we live right now and then I'll tell you guys more the details then. Alright so yeah we're getting another puppy. Um, we're about to go to Target and get all of like the essentials. This is always like one of my favorite parts is like getting all the stuff to prepare for the doggy. So we're gonna go get some new toys um, because, and I think I'm gonna hide all of Luna's current toys. I'm so sorry, Luna, but she gets very territorial and protective over toys. So I wouldn't want her like right off the bat to like not like this puppy just because of toys. So we're gonna hide those for the first few months, maybe just to see how she reacts um, and buy all new toys for the both of them. Um, and then eventually maybe bring back all hers. I just don't want her to, yeah, again, be very territorial, ter territorial over the toys that she thinks are like just hers. So. Um, we're gonna try that and then we also like obviously need to get all new water bowls and everything because I read up about like getting a second dog and how to make the transition not as hard on your first dog and it's all about like making sure they each have their own separate stuff separate like time for each of them like take one of them on a walk and then take the other one on a walk and then take them on a walk together like doing stuff like that so just making sure Luna knows she's still Loved. But yeah, so we're gonna get all new bowls and everything because of that so they're not sharing and getting upset with each other about that <laughs> But yeah, we're so excited. Um, I think we have a name picked out already. I will reveal it later It is currently two o'clock and then we're going to go to Target here in like next 30 minutes And then we have to leave here by 3 30 to go and pick up Mr. Pussy I went and pulled out Luna's old crate. She doesn't use it anymore because she sleeps in bed with us but obviously we're gonna um, crate turning the puppy up first because he's too tiny to sleep with us But then we found all of Luna's like baby baby puppy toys in this little carrier and she recognized them immediately um, And same with her baby blanket. We just found that or her puppy bed. Yeah, yeah, and she is just obsessed She's having the best time right now with all her little puppy stuff In my world, I don't worry, darling. I just smile, cause you're by my side. All right, we packed up this bag of the essentials that we need, like when we pick him up, and then we have all the other stuff in here. It is all so cute. Now let's go get our puppy. We're here. We're gonna go pick him up. In yours too. So now I sing to you, and when you go. Leave me here all alone. I'll be waiting. We can make it. We have him. I'm so excited. Now we gotta go home. 
Okay, so we just got back into town and none of our friends know, like we didn't really tell anyone, so we're going to surprise our friends Charlie and Nick and the rest of the Grape House and see how what they think. Hey! Hello! How's it going? What <laughs> is that? Oh my... Can I hold it? What? Charlie's upstairs. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing, 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 nothing. You don't listen to anything. What the heck? What is that? What? I'm gonna need a friend that bad, huh? Is it a he or she? He. He? What'd you name him? You tell him? I think, I think we're kind of sitting on a Okay, so I am back in the car because I went and got Miss Luna, our other dog. Um, she is also a Frenchie, if you guys don't know. Um, anyways. Whenever you have two dogs, I read that you're supposed to introduce them for the first time on neutral ground, so somewhere that Luna does not, like, has really never been and does not, like, mark as her own so that she doesn't get jealous and upset. So we, that's why we came here, because we're going to try and introduce them for the first time. She's already smelling the puppy on me everywhere. Like, she's going crazy, but let's see how this goes. What are you doing, What are you doing? Oh, wow. Did you see me, brother? I'm gonna say she's gonna ignore. Huh? Maybe she won't. <laughs> what do you think? Whoa, bro. It's like this circle. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you think, Wynn? What do you think? Oh, but she's smelling the blanket too now. He's so it's cute. Yeah, I actually missed the little period on the Oh, then you were. I was wondering. Part. Welcome home. <laughs> Say welcome home. <laughs> oh, what do you think, buddy? Huh? What do you think, Lynn? Huh? Buddy. <laughs> Alright guys, wow, it's been quite the interesting evening. Um, first night with our puppy, I'm just gonna tell you guys his name. Um, his name is Apollo, and um, if you guys don't know, um, in Greek mythology, Apollo is the god of the sun, so he's one of them, I guess. And we thought it'd be so cute because Luna's the moon, so we wanted something like sun-related or stars or sky or something like that. Um, so we thought it'd be cute to do something, and the one that we thought of was Apollo because, you know, God of the Sun. So we have Luna, who is our moon, and then Apollo, who is our sun. So, so cute, um, obsessed. It's been a fun, interesting evening though with the initial potty training. Yeah, now he's whining. Um, all that good stuff that first comes with the puppy. So trying our best. Um, we're taking him out every hour on the hour. So yeah, I'm gonna wake up multiple times throughout the night. Or actually, no, Keegan said he would take the night shift if I took the day shift, so yeah. Yeah, and then there's Luna who is just whining because she wants the treats because we're trying to um, train him with potty training with the treats and everything. So I feel bad and I give her one whenever she goes to the bathroom too. She saw where I put them, so now she's just whining at them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but Luna has been getting along okay with the dog. Um, she did like snap at him a little bit when he got near one of her toys, which was not good. So we hid all of her toys because I forgot to, like I said, and darn it, I knew this was gonna happen. Um, and then, so we hid all those and told her no, and now we're like really like loving on her, I guess, like praising her whenever she is like nice with Apollo. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. It's gonna be interesting. I know it's not gonna happen right away. They're not gonna be besties right away, especially since he's so tiny. Like, she's barely understanding him. It doesn't help that Apollo has been testing his limits because he literally like, went in and was climbing on Luna's bed and I was like, oh boy, I know she's so territorial and stuff right now. Um, but we're making it through, guys. So now I've got him all set up for bed. We have this crate um, with one of Keegan's t-shirt he's been wearing all day and one of my t-shirts I've been wearing all day. Then a blanket that we bought, that we brought to the breeders and we like rubbed it on all of his litter mates. But then the um, breeder herself actually gave us this other blanket and she had already done that with all of the puppies. So we have two now, might as well. We don't have a little pad for in there yet. So um, need to go get one of those and you go pet smart. But yeah, he's all set. I put a little bone in there too and <laughs> I'm playing a box fan noise on the TV because it's like our walls are very thin in this apartment and I thought maybe that would help. I don't know. And then obviously we're going to keep waking him up every hour and taking him out. So 
I'll see how this first night goes and then I'll show you guys us uh, surprising everybody else with him because literally nobody else knows that we have him. Some of my family does, but yeah, I'm excited to surprise everyone. We're going to do one of Keegan's family gatherings tomorrow and we're literally just going to walk in with him and see how they react. And Kylie and Hunter are going to come see him in the morning too. Yeah. But he's not whining as much as I thought he would for being in here already, so that's nice, but we'll see if that continues. Okay. Good night for now. Uh, you. Hey, thank you. Oh no, I don't know if you like me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just happy to be here. Yeah. Hi, dear. He's so sweet. Oh, this is teasing you. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'd like to check him. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, icy boy. <laughs> All right, everyone. So, Kylie and Hunter stopped by to see Mr. Apollo earlier. And then we went to the vet and he had his first vet appointment and he was great. Um, we started on his like puppy shots and everything. So very exciting. And now we are at our Christmas for a family Christmas and everyone's gonna get to meet him for the first time. And nobody here knows that we have him. So we're excited. It's gonna be fun. It's a fun little surprise. <laughs> Did we graduate? Did yes! We what? Daddy. Oh! Oh my gosh! Another friendship! What is going on? What does Luna think of it? She's acting like it doesn't exist right now. Oh my Did you even consult her as a decision? Yeah, we told her. Apollo. Yeah. Yep. And he's so cute. I know, he's three pounds. I know. He's so cute. Okay, so he got a shot today. And so his leg is sore. So if he yelps, it's because of that. <laughs> I know. We think they're sore. I don't know. Every time we would accidentally touch one, he would literally shriek. He might, it... So to clarify, this was the day after the last clip of him meeting Keegan's family. So this is the following day. And that last day when he had that vet appointment, they gave him a few shots. And I we think one of them made his leg super sore because that is where they did the shot. And I don't know. It was just so sensitive. And we felt so bad because every time... We would just like slightly move him around in our arms. He would start yelping and shrieking for a little bit and we just felt so bad. But thankfully, obviously this day, it was all worn off. But yeah, that was the explanation on that. In the backyard, my mama's standing guard. My father's on the boulevard with my sister in his arms. And now she's older, a little bolder. She's still resting on his shoulders so that she doesn't miss a thing. Way above the crowd, she sits and sings that I'm coming home. He is coming home.